All right, everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and I guess I'm doing this with my main guy. I didn't even think about that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to use Thunder Gal, but I guess we're doing this with the main guy. It's been so long since I've used him. I don't even know if I have pants for him. Um, but welcome to Dragon Ball Xenoverse DLC Pack 3 Parallel Quest playthrough. So for those of you guys who have seen my past DLC playthroughs, in the past two DLCs, it's given you three story mode DLC quests and then three parallel quest DLC quests. And I believe I've covered all six in uh, most regards for both DLC packs. But in DLC pack three, you actually don't get any new story mode quests, but you get five new parallel quest options. Which doesn't bother me. I mean, in a way, you're losing a quest. The fact that it was story mode or parallel quest never really mattered to me. Parallel quest just means you get stuff, and story mode quest just means the only thing you can get is experience. Um, been a long time since I used this guy. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't bother me in any way that they're all parallel quests. And that there's only five, because some of, like, they kind of stretch. Like, in DLC Pack 2, you had to fight... One of the quests that you did was to fight Android 17, like, legitimately six or seven times. Just take on Android 17 six or seven times in a row. So we're actually going to find some pants for our homeboy here. Uh, the reason he doesn't have pants is because I took them off to give them to a logo character. I had a character I was going to get made as like a logo for my channel or whatever. Let me see what fits. Um, his key blast supers can suck balls. And that's totally fine. Um, time patroller suit works pretty well. It doesn't look the best. We can adjust it. We're going to redo our homeboy here. Alright, hold on. As long as it doesn't affect basic attack or strike supers. Bardock battle suit. I'm probably gonna ditch Mira's top for something else. It doesn't look too shabby. I mean, don't get me wrong, we've looked better. But it doesn't look too shabby. Let's see if we can find some better boots other than Bardock's. They don't have to like be ideal in stats, but. They're not going to be the Devil Man suit boots. Oh my god. Sorry, I meant to get right into the action when I started this. Uh. Hey, there we go. Good shit. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. He's de he's definitely looked cooler, but... Alright, give me an accessory, and then let me see what my moves are. It's been so long since I've used this character. Um, I think I got a new sword. Yeah, no, not the ninja katana. I got Tappy on sword. There we go. I'm gonna rock Tappy on sword for a while. And then I still like the Z-Soul, Kakarot. So anyways, this is DLC Pack 3. I already have Elder Kai as my mentor. Uh, he's a creepy old pervert. If you want to know how to get Elder Kai when you see him, you have to then go party up with two females, because he likes females. If you want to max out Elder Kai as fast as possible, you have to know two things. Uh, number one, Elder Kai... Um, you can't... What am I trying to say? Oh, number one, you can't do the last Elder Kai mission until you're level 93. So, just be aware that you gotta be level 93. You can do every mission leading up to that one, but you can't actually do the last mission until you're level 93. And then number two, um... I think we'll just rock the old school get up. I don't need after image strike, though. I need... Give me super drain or something like that. Um... I think Super Drain sounds nice, to be honest. There we go. Alright, let's do this. Um, but yeah. And then also, if you want to max out Elder Kai, like once you know, like, hey, I'm going to be level 93 by the time uh, Elder Kai wants to tango or whatever. Um, you got to use ladies. You have to use women to level up. So you can be, I mean, you know, Android 18, Pan, whatever. You just have to use ladies to level up. Uh, Elder Kai as fast as possible. Now, I, I've played this mission once or twice. I have, have never gotten the bonus conditions for it, so I don't know what they are. If we don't get them today, why am I online? I need to go into solo. Um, but if we don't get them today, I'm sorry. I don't know what they are. I don't know how to control them. It's probably not anything special, because it's just fighting Frieza over and over again. Um, yeah, let me get to offline here. I've been live for almost five minutes. We haven't seen any action yet. I'll probably split this up, it'll be... Well, the missions are kind of long. It'll be two to three different parts, depending on how long I want to make... Um, 
Depending on how long I want to make the videos, how long the missions take. But some of these missions take a long ass time. Especially with this character. I'm not too sure this character is going to be able to knock him out super quick. We're going to rock Jaco. Oh, I fucking love Jaco. Do you want my elite photo book? Do we want his elite photo book? And then... We'll use God Goku. I'm not going to lie. God Vegeta is actually not going. very good. Um, and some people are going to... <gasps> Thundershot, what the fuck are you talking about? But no, God Vegeta, his super Gallic gun can be charged fully and still doesn't do as much damage as regular Final Flash does. And then he's got this one move that blocks only regular Key Blast. I don't mean like any kind of super move. I mean just the regular Key Blast is all it does. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this character because his stats overall kind of suck. But we'll have to see. Being able to level him up to 99 is going to be pretty cool, though. After all this time... Let me see if I can get some stamina back from old freezer here. Yeah, that's gross. No, the power up. No, the power up. I haven't exercised this much in a while. I need to. I might split these up. I might do one, uh, one part per mission. And I know that's gonna suck to a lot of people want to watch it. But number one, I'm gonna be out of town for a while. So it'll be a good way for me to get more videos out for you guys. I mean, I know technically it's not more content, but it gives you one upload per day of stuff. Oh shit, that's Meteor Crash. Thought I thought that was charge. Um, it gives you one upload per day as opposed to two uploads, then nothing for me for the rest of the week because I'm gonna be gone over the course of the week. I don't know how many days I'm gonna be gone for sure just yet. But yeah, kind of a little heads up on that. And plus being able to type, yeah, YouTube stuff. I might do, yeah, so this might be a few parts long. Yeah. Um, so far, I've, I've got to play around a lot. I've done two stream, well, one full stream of DLC Pack 3 content. One stream just involving trying to level up to 99, which I got nowhere near. Because that shit takes forever. I know the best methods for it and whatnot, but it just, it just takes a long time regardless. Um... But no, I've got to play around DLC Pack 3 quite a bit, and I want to say for the most part, it's definitely got the most content of any DLC Pack. If you include level 99, which technically came as free to everyone, but uh, God Goku and God Vegeta are alright. Uh, like I said, God Vegeta is not that good, and they actually fight exactly like regular Goku and Vegeta for the most part. Like, same grab, same uh, basic attacks, a lot of similar skills, to the point to where... They could have just been different variations of regular Goku and Vegeta. You know how Goku has like 16 variations? God Goku could have just been another variation. Like that's how similar he fights. So it's it's almost like not like an insanely new character. Golden Frieza fights kind of different and his stats are a lot different. But for the most part he could have also probably gone down as a reskin. I love Jaco though. Jaco is amazing. I love Jaco as a character. I haven't got to test around with Jaco as a mentor yet. Uh, but old Kai being able to help out with RNG is huge. And I am actually insanely close to getting the Platinum Trophy right now. Um, so that's going to be super cool. When that happens. Alright, so let's just do this. I'm tired of just knocking Freeze around all the time. Let's just Blue Hurricane. Blue Hurricane is still my personal favorite. I was going to say best move in the game. But that's just not true. I was going to say my personal favorite move. Why am I not locked on to Freeze anymore, though? Hate it when I do that. I lock onto him and do the blue hurricane, then I'll, all of a sudden I'm not locked onto him anymore, and I don't know where they are. Also, I hate it when I knock him up, but can't get him locked in the blue hurricane. That legitimately 100% makes the blue hurricane useless. If I do this backflip and find Frieza, and it just knocks him out of it, like what the hurricane's supposed to do is when you get on top of him like that, you... Yeah, I haven't done it right once yet. But I'm supposed to be able to actually lock him in the hurricane and get real damage off. Let me see if I can do it right this time. I got close, but I couldn't do it. I want to show you guys what the hurricane's actually supposed to look like. Unless he's just not staggering because computers don't stagger like that sometimes. Oh shit, I meant to go Super Saiyan. Oh, there we go. This is what the hurricane's supposed to look like. This is doing a bunch of damage to him. You do the backflip, you catch him up, and then you lock him in the hurricane. And that's what it's supposed to look like. But it doesn't always work like that. Because sometimes you'll knock them up and then they'll fly out of it and then you can never get them trapped in it. Or you'll hit them once or twice and then they'll fly out of it. And that pretty much makes the hurricane useless to do it that way. 
The Hurricane's better used on multiple enemies instead of just one. If it's one enemy, I normally rather basic attack, but it, but it does so much damage, and these parallel quests are so freaking long that it's probably just better this way. I bet if I take them out in under five minutes, I bet that's the goal. Maybe I can get the bonus objective this way. Hold on. I never got the bonus for this one, so if I could find out where Freezer is... I have to take him out in 30 seconds, which is one more good hurricane if we can get him locked into another one. Or he can just fly underneath it and not get hit by it. That works too. Anyways, for those of you guys who have gotten all three DLC packs, let me know what you think. See, why? Just catch him in it. Why is it throwing him up? Like, it doesn't need to throw him up. It just needs to catch him in it so I can actually kill him. Um, but for those of you guys... Oh, there we go. Who have all three DLC packs. We still didn't get the bonus. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't know how to get the bonus on that one, I guess. I trained you, so I wouldn't have expected any worse. But anyway, to try to reiterate my point one more time, for those of you guys who have all three DLC packs and we got to play them a bit, let me know what you guys think so far of uh, all three of them. Do you have a favorite DLC pack out of the three? Maybe some favorite move, maybe a favorite mentor. Uh, maybe, you really like, really, yeah, maybe you really like Maiden Blast, so the second DLC pack was your favorite because you got Pan. Excuse me, let me know. No crack of the cocaine because not too long after I film this, I'm going to be live streaming. <clears throat> and I don't want to crack the cocaine for this. And then another one for live streaming. Some, I don't know. I'm trying to cut back on my <coughs> soda intake. And I only ever drink soda when I'm playing either streaming or re filming a recording for you guys. But I've been doing that a lot more lately. So I've been drinking a lot more soda and I'm... Trying to tone back a little bit. Anyways, no, on to the next mission.